Paul, the second point is this. We are a free and liberal democracy and we fight hard for people's rights to speak, speak up about what they believe in, whether we agree with them or not. So why is this different? Uh, it, well, we, first of all, we do need to affirm free speech. That's absolutely fundamental to our society. But free speech does not... Um, there, there comes a point when we need to protect the rights of minorities, whatever those minorities are, whether they're faith minorities, ethnic minorities, trans or uh, rainbow community minorities. And so what is really an, um, upsetting to me is that the minister has not exercised his prerogative. He's banned people in the past, odd couple, odd... Um, Future. future, thank you. Odd future on character grounds because they incited a, an audience in another country and so the, he was banned. Um, and we've banned David Irving from coming here. And then, of course, we've in the past, Stephen Molyneux and, um, and uh, Lawrence Southern were banned from using uh, Auckland Council facilities. So what we're doing is we're being let down by our authorities and saying this is unsafe for our community. And that's the point, really, Maddie, that we need to protect communities from hate in this country. I, I guess, you know, you, you heard the statement from Auckland Council, who said yes. it's up to the organisers to make sure that this, it's a safe event, that security's been organised. Police say they'll be monitoring it. Yep. So how do we know that this isn't just going to be a peaceful protest by Posey Parker? Well, <laughs> her behaviour, her behaviour in Melbourne, what happened in Tasmania, what's happened in the UK. And by the way, she's not simply anti-trans. There's a history of being racist, of being anti-Muslim. Uh, uh, there's Islamophobia there as well. So um, this is somebody who's coming, who is not prepared to listen, who's not prepared to act respectfully, who is going to shout at people and is going to perpetuate the anti-trans that we've been seeing around the world and in New Zealand. So you're saying this is a case where free speech goes too far? Well, the, I think the minister should have exercised his authority under the good character uh, requirements of the Act to not allow somebody to come in and abuse people in this country. Why would you? Are we seeing more hostility towards the rainbow community at the moment? Oh, undoubtedly.
Um, and this is, and it's people like Posey Parker that are driving that hate around the world. Um, we're seeing more bills uh, in the United States banning um, drag queens, which kind of by extension, you know, could be interpreted to ban trans people in public spaces. Um, there, there's a rise in hatred around the world that's being driven by these far right groups. It's all connected. The disinformation and misinformation around COVID had became about governments and media and is targeted on the rainbow community. And we're feeling the effects of it right now. Right, really quick what are you expecting to come out of today? You're going to have to move quickly. She's expected to arrive this afternoon. We are having to move quickly and we are moving quickly. Uh, we're really hopeful that an interim order will be placed and she won't be allowed to enter the country. Um, that's, that's the best hope. Otherwise, we'll be out there peacefully protesting at Albert Park at 11am on Saturday or down in Pornicky, Wellington um, at 1.30pm on Sunday at Civic Square. Uh, Max Tweedy from Auckland Pride and Paul Spoonley, a distinguished professor joining us this morning. Thank you so much, both of you, for Thank being you. with us. Thanks, Maddie. Um, in my life, uh, in this, this history I've just given will show it. Um, th this isn't my theory, it's an old theory that's been around a long time, but in some ways I've lived the reality of it, that there are three main ways of creating change in our lives. From outside the system, throwing rocks, demonstrations, occupations, frontline activism, the long march inside the institutions, which I guess most of you are engaged in here at Massey, um, or the long march inside local government or council or the, nation, the national parliament or in the public service. There's lots of places we can make change and people are. 